The Lord be with you. And, and with, with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory Praise to you, you, O Lord. At that time, Jesus told his disciples a parable. Look at the fig tree and all the trees. As soon as they come out in leaf, you see for yourselves and know that the summer is already near. And also, when you see these things taking place, you know that the kingdom of God is near. Truly, I say to you, this generation will not pass away until all has taken place. Heaven and earth will pass away, but my words will not pass away. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, Lord, Lord Jesus Christ. Christ. My dear brothers and sisters in Jesus Christ, Today's Gospel invites us to put our trust in the living Word of God. Because, as Jesus says in the Gospel, the heaven and earth will pass away, but my words will not pass away. The Word of God has the ultimate control and infinite power in our lives. God's promises through His words are forever and they are fulfilled in our lives. It is clearly manifested when we travel through the pages of the Gospel or when we travel to the pages of the Word of God, the Bible. We see Abraham, the father of our faith. He was called to a distant and unknown land. He was promised descendants as many as the stars of heaven and as the sand on the shore. But nothing worthwhile seemed to happen, and the word of God seemed to be infertile and unfruitful. But we see in the life of Abraham that his faith endured. He believed in the word of God, and the word of God and the God's promise were fulfilled in an opportune time. God's word came to fulfillment and great completion and Abraham becomes the father of our faith. And also we have yet an another example, Moses, the liberator of Israel. When Moses was called by God, he was promised complete guidance and absolute direction from God. But often, during the journey of liberation, Moses had to face the anger of the people of God. God's words seemed to be betraying, yet the enduring conviction and the enduring confidence of Moses got him through. God's word displayed great glory and mighty witness. And we have yet another example, the example of Job. Job was blessed with immense richness and massive luxury in his life. <coughs> he was, however, permitted to be tested by Satan and lost much, much of his security and riches. Hope, hopelessness and despair seemed to be his best companions. God's word seemed to be forsaking and deserting him, yet the enduring perseverance of Job prevailed at the end. My dear brothers and sisters, what is our faith in the word of God? In moments of life-crushing events, in moments of difficult situations, do we trust in the word of God? Do I, do you endure and trust in the enduring and eternal power of God's word? At times, there are delays in, in the fulfillment of God's word, as in the case of Abraham. There are frustrations in the following of God's word, as in the case of Moses. There are misunderstandings in listening to God's word, as in the case of Job. But the Lord invites each and every one of us today to put our trust and to be faithful and to be patient in listening to God's word 
and to be attentive to the signs of the times because as Jesus says heaven and earth will pass away but my words will not pass away my dear brothers and sisters as we partake during this eucharistic celebration let us pray for the grace the grace to trust in god's word the grace to trust in the promises of god and the grace to not to lose hope but to endure till the end